Hello, in this video, we're going to do a math problem. We're told that if f of x equals a to the x, we have to show that f of x plus 1 minus f of x minus 1 all divided by a squared minus 1 is equal to f of x minus 1. Let's go ahead and carefully work through it. Solution. So we'll just assume that f of x is equal to a to the x, and we'll start by writing down the left-hand side and just working through it. So we have f of x plus 1 minus f of x minus 1 over, and then we have a squared minus 1. So this is left-hand side of, you know, what we're trying to show. This is equal to, so we know that f of x is equal to a to the x. So f of x plus 1 is telling us that we need to evaluate our function f at x plus 1. Instead of a to the x, it'll be a to the x plus 1. We have our minus sign. And f of x minus 1, instead of a to the x, will be a to the x minus 1. On the bottom, we have a squared minus 1. So now we need to figure out how to proceed. So we need to get f of x minus 1, which is basically just a to the x minus 1. So somehow all of this is magically equal to a to the x minus 1. That means we need to get rid of a lot of stuff, in particular the stuff on the bottom, and it just needs to completely look different. So one idea is to try to factor. So if you think back to like basic math, if you have say x to the fifth minus x squared, and you're trying to factor this, you would factor out an x squared, and you would get x cubed minus 1. That's how you normally would factor things. Notice something about this though. 2 is smaller than 5. So you pull out x to the smallest exponent. We're going to apply that principle here. We're going to factor out a, but to the smallest exponent. So what is the smallest exponent here? Well, x minus 1 is smaller than x plus 1. I'm going to put an x minus 1 here, and then a parenthesis. And on the bottom, we still have a squared minus 1 on the bottom. Let's figure out what goes here. What do we multiply by a to the x minus 1 in order to get a to the x plus 1? Well, a is second power because the bases are the same. And so when you multiply these two terms, you add the exponents. a to the x minus 1 times a to the second power basically means you get a to the x minus 1 plus 2 x minus 1 plus 2 is x plus 1, because if you add 2 to the negative 1, you're going to get a plus 1. And then minus, and then here we're just going to get a 1. Oh, look at that. Just beautiful, right? This is equal to a to the x minus 1, which is the same thing as f of x minus 1. So that's it. So just a simple problem. I mean, technically it's a proof, and I'm supposed to write, suppose f of x is equal to a to the x, but... I just wrote solution. We're just treating it as a simple algebra problem, not necessarily a proof, or just a verification, being a little bit more uh, relaxed with it. Hopefully this video has taught you some mathematics. If it has, make sure to check out more videos. Until next time, good luck. Take care.